Today I'm going to show you how to automatically boot into the Windows 8 uh, desktop instead of to the Metro screen that you see here. It's kind of a big deal for some people, so like basically it'll just it'll boot directly to here rather than the Metro desktop. All you're going to need is a simple program called Classic St Classic Shell. It's also sometimes known as Classic Start. It's a completely free program. Uh, basically, what it's meant for is to put your start button back on Windows 8, so it's super handy to have. But then it has these other settings built in that are will uh, do these things for you, like make it start in the Metro screen. So once you have Classic Shell installed, like I'll I'll go through that in a minute how to actually install it. All you have to do is right click on it and go to Settings. And then uh, at the bottom, choose All Settings instead of Basic Settings. And then there's a Windows 8 Settings option. And then you have the options right here for Skip Metro Screen and Disable Active Corners. So if you want to get rid of those, you can do that here as well. But Skip Metro Screen, when you have that checked, it's going to boot right to your desktop rather than booting to the Metro Screen first. So And that's all you have to do, really, once you have Classic Shell installed. So I'll show you how to do that now. Um, all you have to do is go on the internet and go to a website called Ninite.com. You can get it from other places, but Ninite is just super useful. You can use it for a lot of other things. Everything they have on there is free software, so if there's anything else that you need while you're there, like they have uh, Adobe Reader and Flash and uh, OpenOffice, just anything that you do want, you can just uh, download as well, but I'm just going to show you specifically how to get a Classic Shell. Okay, so once you get to 98.com, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, the option that you want to choose is Classic Start. It's under Utilities, and like I said, any of this other stuff is free, so if you need to update your Java or .NET or anything like that, you can just choose these options too, and like you can install multiple things at once. And if a program's already installed that you check, then it will check if there's a newer up version available. If there is, it'll install the update. If you already have the newest version, then it will just uh, then it'll just skip it. So. Uh, I already have Classic Start installed, so it's just going to skip the installation. But So you select it, you hit Get Installer, and then it's going to download this small file that then you just have to click on to make it do everything for you. So now it's downloaded. Now I just click on it, and I say Run. It might ask me to run as administrator, but... Um, yeah, so then just say Yes to run as administrator. And then it's going to prepare setup. Oh, whoops. And I guess there is a newer version of Classic Start available, and that's why it's downloading right now. And you can check the uh, status right here for how far along it is. So as soon as it's downloaded, then it'll uh, then it will install it. I already have it installed, so not a big deal. But I just want to step you through the whole process. So then it'll say installing Classic Start. It should only take a take a second or two to install. Okay, and then it's all done installing. So after that, then you can just, like I said before, uh, right click on it, go to settings, and then just go to all settings, Windows 8, then open the Windows 8 tab, like the Windows 8 tab is only there if you have all settings checked. So all settings, then go to Windows 8 settings, and check skip metro screen, or uncheck it if you don't want to skip the metro screen, but yep, yeah, uh, that's all you have to do.